Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Town. I'm Mike, the explosive one. Let's get into another one. TNT. Yo. So I don't, I don't know. I imagine you probably heard about this one. It's a. Uh, our uh, our friends in Ohio, the, oh, the police geez. the police wanna the police wanna make sure yeah. they're they're following the holiday spirit, you know? Yeah, Get yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah, I know you this wanna, story. You wanna decorate you wanna decorate up. You wanna, you wanna make, decorate up. Decorate up. <laughs> yeah. All costume right. up your horse. All you know, right. they're like, what would be the perfect costume for a horse for Halloween? How about a little horsey ghost? A little ghost <laughs> ghosty horse. You got the thing is that we can't even show them a picture of it. Maybe I can bring one up. Real quick, let's see if I can. <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna try to bring oh, yeah, it up? Okay. I did see this picture, and it was funny because the ghosts ended up looking a lot like. Uh, yeah, just put Ohio horse ghosts. Ohio yeah, so uh, for you who aren't watching on the YouTube channel, ghosts. you can watch the video. Yeah, because we can do yeah. all this. There video. you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So here we go. That's so it. there it is. They, so that's the Ohio horse ghost. That, yeah. Or and there is and the Ku Klux the... Klan ghost. <laughs> it is the exact same thing minus the little, Klan symbol. Little symbol. So I don't know who thought dressing their horses up in white sheets Yikes. would. And it like, and I honestly don't think they thought of it. Like it doesn't seem like it was one of those like let's see if we can get away with this sort of things. Yeah. It's just. They're out here because they're just out here riding horses dressed up like ghosts, not even realizing they are just riding KKK horses around in Cleveland. Uh, I mean, okay, so honestly, if I had been there in the situation and nobody was there to draw those correlations um, because I was born, you know, in the 21st century. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to be like, oh, it's a, ho it's a horse dressed like a ghost. But the minute I saw it, I was like, yo, somebody should have said something. <laughs> right, right. It's like when, when they, I'm sure during the meeting, they were like, let's <laughs> let's dress our horses up like ghosts. Everyone's like, oh my God, that'll be so cute. Everyone's going to yeah. love it. But then like, I feel like, okay, there had to be at least 50 people, right? Because there's numerous horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They throw a sheet over top of it like, and mm. not one person in the entire place was yeah. like, I recognize this yeah. from somewhere. No, nobody posted that picture before they took it on patrol to their Facebook. And it was like, you know, their grandpa, their grandma was like, oh, yeah, we used to we used to chase the Negroes with we those <laughs> rocks at those horses. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, granddad. Hold on. Yeah, right. Maybe we'll rethink the uh, t -t 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 yeah, costumes this year. I just it, it blows my mind how sometimes people can do stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not recognize like what they're doing. Like you're so oblivious to like what people are going to think about it yeah. and how it could be uber offensive to someone. Yeah. I, uh, I saw, I heard this story. I think it was, I don't know what state it was in, but there was a, there was a guy who went out on Halloween dressed up as Adolf Hitler, obviously <laughs> not in good taste. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. especially with the climate of Kanye doing his anti-Semitic stuff right now. That seems to be a big thing lately. But like, but, yeah, go ahead. So people started calling the police on this man. Good. And, and it got to the point where the police finally had to put out like a tweet and be like, "Hey, we hear you. It is not illegal it's to not be a offensive. Crime. Not a crime. To we be an we ass. can't go to arrest this man. No. Well, turns out he's like a special needs guy, and and like didn't like. I don't give a fuck. But it uh, and he ends up getting like fired from his job and yeah. like you know all Good. this stuff. And then the uh, so then like I heard people saying like, well, if he's special needs, should he still know better? Uh, yes. Or yeah. should someone like say, hey, buddy, like if anything, if he's special needs, this means that he has a support system around him and one that should be advocating for him not to be dressing up as Adolf Hitler. Right, right. Well, um, then then somebody else said, OK, well, I get it. It's bad to dress up like Hitler. He killed many, many people. <laughs> right. But, right. But then like somebody Hitler. said, well, what about the people that dress up like Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer? Uh, they're, those they're people still... are assholes too. Right? Yeah, because if somebody else was like, "What about dressing up like Freddy Krueger?" Like that's a fictional character in a movie. That is completely different from dressing up like Hitler. And, and not to mention that Ted Bundy killed how many people did Ted Bundy kill? Oh, not six million. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and Jeffrey Dahmer killed thirteen. So uh, I think Adolf Hitler was responsible for tens of thousands of deaths. I thought it was six million. Okay, well, fine, Jonas. I don't know. I I'm mean, not. I don't know way, how much you know about Hitler. I don't know a lot about Hitler. I mean, they, I think that's what they said the Holocaust six million Jews got killed. Either way, but yeah, there's a big difference between dressing up as 
a maniac serial killer. Which is still trashy. Versus uh, basically the devil himself, which it's Adolf Hitler, who just killed people because of their religious basically just their religion not even their skin color like yeah. he wasn't even on he wasn't even on the hating the blacks like everybody else <laughs> he, was, he was like oh you're white <laughs> well who do you think is god oh hmm. i think <laughs> you're gonna have to kill you yeah yeah man it's, I, uh, nuts. it's just i just every every year at halloween man it becomes who's gonna be offensive who's gonna dress up like something that they shouldn't Who's dressing up like the Twin Towers? Who's dressing up like a serial killer? <laughs> what do you dress up for as Halloween, Joe? We never did a Halloween episode either. Because I don't dress up. I know. You did not dress up. I dressed up as uh, Sasuke Uchiha um, as a part of the Akutsuki. Yeah. A Akasutsuki. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Whatever it is. <laughs> It looks like the number is 16 million. Wow. 16 million? That's what I got that from a brief look at it. I didn't think it was that high. The Nazis and likely murdered 16 million people. I mean, it's not like he did each one himself, but he did but that order. Was like, but that was also uh, like 50 plus years ago when when the population was way lower. Like yeah. that that today is 5% of the US population, of today's population. Yeah. So yeah. back then that probably would have been like 10% of the US population. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I think they say like a good like 60%, maybe even higher than that have don't have never even met a Jewish person. Like can you name one friend that you have that's Jewish? Do you I mean, have I don't any? ask people what their religion is. I know, but so. you would know if you had a Jew friend. Would I? Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like no. I feel like knowing you have a Jew friend is like knowing if you have a black friend. You're like, no, I don't know if I have any black friends. Guess what, Jonas? You do. <laughs> I I want to say that I like I want to say that I know someone who's Jewish. I feel like I've known a Jewish kid. Like I feel like I went to junior high with a Jewish kid, but I I don't think that I have any Jewish friends. Like if you can think about all the people that we knew from the like the same neighborhood. Oh, Ohio folks? I don't know. No, I don't think exactly. there was I don't think there was I, many in Ohio. I don't know if I have like Well, yeah, because we would have known because the kids would have came to school with yarmulkes on at some point for holidays or exactly. things like that. Exactly. Right? Like yeah. Exactly. So I guess even yeah, in our high school there wasn't anyone who ever wore yarmulke oh for anything. I feel like it's a good thing we didn't because they would have got made fun of. You can't. You couldn't be different in the 1900s, man. I was different. <laughs> we made fun of every. No, no. Look, look, Jonas. Look, we we are changed individuals. We are progressive. All right. Yeah, I, and, I, I love progressive. And we not out here trying to offend anybody, but we said some stuff in the 1900s Everybody that would stuff not fly. <laughs> it was a different time then. That was like when grandpa gets going and you're like, it's just grandpa. He's from a different time. I just want you to admit it is that it, it was rough. I am sure that things came out of my mouth back in the day that I am not proud of. I don't know. You know what I mean? We just, I know. I mean, I'm a bit to saying them, these things. I don't say them. I don't say certain things anymore. But well, yeah, like because it really was a different time. Things were yeah. just acceptable back then. I just want you to admit to it. So just, just admit that I'm from a time where oh, things. I were am from a time with modern warfare Xbox Live. You know, before they got into the like whole, oh, we got to start moderating. Halo Three was the most toxic ass. Halo, Gears of War One yeah. and Two, Xbox Live Three Hundred and Sixty. It was just like hate speech on there dude. with the blades. Yeah. Oh my god! I've been called more times than than this ever will happen on Twitter. Even after Elon Musk took over, it was like you would just get in there, and it was just any sort of slur. If they could, if yes. like it was either like slurs against gays, yes. blacks, it's been any sort yes. of a slur you could throw out. It was just brrr, it was like a proliferate you know, of me. <laughs> Me and my friends would go in and see if we could just elicit one. We'd make a joke out of it. <laughs> We'd be like, please, can we get one see out of it? See how quickly they can drop an yeah, egg ball on you? Yeah, because it would happen so fast, dude. So Oh, awkward. yeah, God forbid a woman pops in the chat, dude. That, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Even today, I have to say, man, I feel so bad for women that want to play video games because oh, it's, su it's such like a crazy, like, toxic incel type culture in different games like yep. it's like the second that you hear a woman's voice on chat it goes from friendly game whatever to people trying to white knight people trying to people saying ignorant stuff about women people it's like <laughs> just two seconds uh, just recently i was i was one they were like oh dude i think our mercy is a girl and it's like yes i'm a girl and then the next message after that was can i see your belly button <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I think our mercy's a girl. Yes, I'm a girl. Show us your belly. <laughs> no, I just want to see your belly button. Well, and I, honestly, that is a fair request. Is it? Is that I, how you greet I, I wanted to see it myself. Is that how you greet people? <laughs> I wanted to see it myself. Anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazetown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.